Hello and welcome to our brief snapshot of Lead to Cash, including some view of the suite commerce uh, integration and functions that we can add value to the business. My name is David Atherton from Noblu, based over in the UK and across into Spain. So we'll start with just a, a brief navigation and a quick sales rep view of how we initially engage within NetSuite, use this for pipeline management, opportunity tracking um, and stage throughout. So at the moment, you'll notice at the, the top right, I'm logged in currently as Jamie Anthony, um, a sales representative based in EMEA. And I have a dashboard defined to gear around my sales management forecasting, uh, sales auto Salesforce automation. So if we go and look at the, the pertinent KPIs, we can look at new leads, new opportunities. We have a, a relevant navigation portlet that can be geared by role. We can look at the rankings of our customers. So can we use them to drive activities and upsell management? We have the tile dashboard shortcuts, and we have the ever important reminders tab um, to drive activity around you know, options we may not have followed up or engaged with or made a record for a certain period of time um, or opportunities that may be expiring. This may expand up to when you have multiple quotes and we're looking to gain approval throughout this. So we just take this into a brief view of a prospect. Obviously, the opportunity estimate management applies exactly the same for existing customers if you're looking at new sales. But looking at the, the a standard network, as with always, NetSuite will call out the type of record we're looking at, which in this case is a prospect. We capture the relevant details. So is it a company or is it an individual? Um, not to undersell this particular element as NetSuite has the capability to manage both B2B and B2C within the same platform, not only in the CRM and ERP element, but moving forwards to the SCA, so the Suite Commerce Advanced and Suite Commerce Experience. Um, and equally, if we do use um, a CPQ tool such as Verenia to interact, it's the same prospect for B2B, B2C. It is not required to have delineation if you do not need it as such. So. When we talk about this at the moment, we're looking at a prospect in discussion, which can carry its own weighting from a forecasting point of view. If we look within the sales tab here, we'll notice at the minute there's nothing showing, no opportunities, no items purchased. This is a brand new prospect. And we can define the fields that are relevant for us. This may have come in from a, an e-commerce channel, from an Amazon channel, from an eBay channel, for example. And it may be that we're tracking some uh, alternate references and we can have that managed within here. As you'll see from the call to action with NetSuite, you can customize this to ensure that it has the relevant tags. So what do we need to do or want to do dynamically directly out of this record where the system knows we're in that record and we make necessary changes. So if we just have a look at uh, an example opportunity here, you know, we can again define as you can anywhere in NetSuite what fields, what's relevant, and by the red asterisks, what's mandatory. So at the moment we're looking at a February order for Fields and Market. It's being managed by myself, Jamie Anthony. That may be that there's team selling, it may be that there's escalator selling, it may be that there's sales manager involved, all of which can be managed from a commission and approvals routing. We're looking at projected totals, we're looking at when the expected close might be and what status we are. So when we look at here, we have currently two sets of jackets. Uh, we can then add in a number of ways. We can search dynamically. We could have grid order entry for this and we can add multiple. But for example, if we want to go and add 20 of these in here, we can go and add multiple which allows us to look across many different products and go one, two, three, and then literally go down. We can add grid order matrix if we're looking at the um, matrix style, size, color variation, multiple additions. Uh, and the same can be applied and fed through to an e-commerce. But if we just go ahead and save an opportunity for that matter, you start to see then where the benefits of NetSuite come in from a related records point of view and an ease of transition. So when we're doing lead to cash procure to pay, we start to see now that, okay, this is great. We have an opportunity raised. Do we want to make this an estimate? Do we want to make it a sales order? Now, 
Either will apply, depending on whether you need to issue quotations for formal approval or sign-off. Um, integration with DocuSign is something we personally use for that very um, method. And then if we want to go and auto create this into a sales order, or we want to auto create this into a sales order to be dispatched and then invoiced, we have the great workflow approval. But what you'll note here is you know, one of the real benefits of NetSuite is I've not had to rekey. We have an estimate that's ready to go. You'll notice that the form and layout has changed. And you'd expect that through each stage, not only of the form change or the documentation transaction change, but potentially through the stages therein as to what's mandatory to make this happen. So once this is approved, for example, I'd probably want to look at making a PO mandatory um, if it's relevant for that particular business. So you notice here locations um, been tagged. That might be defaulted by where the customer is based or by the products. Uh, they're ordering or it may be that we're looking at a 3pl fulfillment for her but equally you know if nothing's changed and i'm truly happy with this i can literally go and save this and the estimate is done i'm not having to rekey i'm not having to track you can of course run multiple quotes out of one opportunity um, and you'll default the preferred for that element to forecast so you'll notice in this particular one the forecast has been omitted um, just by the default uh, configuration within here we then have two elements here, and this is a, obviously a demo account, so it's not going to be exactly as you would uh, envisage yours working. But if I were dealing in a B2C commerce area, for example, cash sale would be automated because they're going to be paying. We're going to have prepaid authorization um, through the merchants. And then alternatively, we're running through a traditional B2B model and we go and then convert this to a sales order. So again, you know, I'm not having to rekey, I'm not having to go and edit and tweak. What I may do, and what may be pertinent, is that any changes between the opportunity to the estimate to the sales order, we can track the variance. So if we're applying additional discount to win this order, for example, if we, you know, so we're going to track, you know, 10% off or a partner discount, we can then track that to see what is being taken to win these deals. And you'll notice here the PO field is approved, as we've mentioned. And again, we can go ahead very quickly and easily and go through this process to automate. Where NetSuite adds huge value is that subject to meeting criteria. So if somebody comes onto the website and places an order, for example, and we have the stock and their credit control is in limit and we have the relevant payment terms, we can actually automate this process. We can allow the system to guide these orders through subject to meeting the key criteria. So you'll notice here we have the sales order now. And if we go back to the, the prospect here and we look at refreshing at what NetSuite is doing within this, you'll notice that the status has changed automatically. NetSuite has understood that because we have now placed a sales order with Fieldman, Fieldsman Market, They've now become a customer. We're not having to think about you know, the relationship changes or statuses that affect the transactions we're processing. NetSuite understands what needs to be done in the applicable statement and will update and change status accordingly. So very simply there, you know, from a sales order point of view now, we can go and notice this is pending approval. I can go to a sales manager role and we can go through approval process. We can go and fulfill the item. We can invoice. We can collect payment. But what I'd like to do now is I'm going to take you over to uh, an example uh, of an SCA site and where both the advanced customer center within NetSuite, along with the, the My Account functionality, can really work and add huge benefits uh, to your business alongside NetSuite um, and where applicable you know, point solutions such as Verenia. Okay, so just moving on to a couple of examples of SCA sites that our team have completed and um, to give you an idea of the functionality and how it may or may not be pertinent to your own business and business requirements. Looking at a simple example here of a supplier in the beauty industry, of a, a very nice you know, look and feel geared around here and this is predominantly uh, it's B2B website only. So they 
choose not to represent the products in full when it comes to the information. So we look at the ratings and login price of the products. You have to, first of all, register with this particular business to show that you're qualified to provide the services. So you have the relevant experience qualification to work with the products. But not only that, because of the, you know, the nature of NetSuite and the ability to manage uh, different price books, pricing groups, item pricing, and customer level pricing. Once somebody logs in, that data will be respected. The range of products of which they're allowed to purchase and work with will be respected, and they'll have a geared uh, approach to their B2B commerce experience. Now, this obviously allows them to place orders 24-7. It allows them to look at updates on uh, existing orders, any cases they have, any issues, uh, financial transactions, which will come on to show you in a short while. Another simple example of uh, an SCA site working here is with UKHS.TV. This is a, an alternative. Now, they do have B2B functionality, but they have this geared around a B2C. So when we're looking at products here, we are seeing the B2C representation of them products and we can log in and that will respect any personalized pricing, discounts, or if we have account terms with them. But again, this is uh, just a simple change in view of how this may vary how you wish to approach. And this all has a very self-managed backend with the new CMS with NetSuite, where you have the ability to maintain your products, obviously in the core of NetSuite, look at the, the CMS element as well to be self-managed in-house in most cases often with just some minor admin support from our specialist SCA team. Now, when we look at moving into uh, the premium customer ascent and my account manager, I'm just going to default into one of our demonstration accounts, just to give you an example of how that can look um, and can be tweaked according to your own requirements. But equally, before I just do that, it's worth mentioning that Verenia has the opportunity to add a full CPQ functionality to the SCA site, to the Sweet Commerce Advanced site. Okay, so uh, taking a slightly different tack, I've just chosen to uh, create an account within UKHS, which I've done just immediately to register. And I can go in and amend and create my address uh, accordingly here. I can add a credit card, a default payment, the way this has currently been designed is to allow me to look at my purchase history, but equally as important to reorder items. So if you have a you know, distributor network and people are, are reordering on a regular basis similar items, they can look at the items and have a very quick interface. Equally, you can have the option to raise a quote. B2C, uh, probably more so than B2B but uh, we've seen some clever usage of this to be able to create a wish list of what they want to start adding to their range. It may be that somebody is not deemed as qualified to receive a part of your range, and in a B2B environment, that can be used just to see where people wish to expand with you. And billing's very simple here. We have an account balance. You know, normally, that would it, I'd expect that to include you know, current quotes, current opportunities, transactional uh, data, including payment history. Update your information and settings, of course. And then you know, one of the undersung elements within NetSuite is we have case management. So looking at where our cases are within here. Now, you know, personally, from my point of view, I'd be looking at um, shipping. So when we're looking at billing or uh, requirements within here, or we're looking at purchases, we want to be looking at order tracking, current status of orders, etc. Um, so you can flesh this out to make it as relevant and easy to use as possible, uh, including areas such as a quick order form, um, and obviously you know, making this these mobile responsive, so giving your customers the ability to order from you whenever is convenient to them. So I hope you know as a quick overview from you know a lead to cash perspective covering you know overheads of B two B, B two C, e commerce. Um, equally, this can extend to any number of sales channels or platforms. We could be talking about managing a, a tablet, uh, an event uh, for ordering, for example, especially in the B2B distribution model and having the ability to offer self-service to your clients to be able to log in, check the state of their orders, place orders, view the you know, availability of stock across your business. 
to limit the interaction and reliance of both office hours um, and the time spent having to interact with the customer for the simpler things. You know, we see NetSuite with sweet commerce advance and where applicable, you know, point solutions such as, you know, perhaps Bronto from a marketing point of view, certainly for any from a CPQ point of view, adding huge value to your business and giving you the agility to take the business where you need to go. So I'd just like to take the opportunity to thank you uh, for looking at the video. And if you'd like to come and see us at the booth at the Verenia event, please do so. I'll turn to please free to feel free to reach out directly if you have any interest in any of the products and solutions that we offer. Thank you once again for your time.